A very good Friday to you and happy New Year's Eve as well. It's great to see you. I'm Julie Grant. Today on Court TV Live, we are following major developments in the state of Colorado, where a truck driver who was originally sentenced to 110 years in prison after a deadly traffic accident has just received a major reduction in his sentence. This case is getting a lot of talk. Governor uh, in the governor in Colorado, I should say, Jared Polis on Thursday announced he is commuting the sentence for this defendant, shortening it down to 10 years. The governor called the original 110 year sentence highly atypical and unjust. That original term drew national scrutiny with celebrities like Kim Kardashian West calling for a lesser penalty and more than 5 million people also signing a petition asking the governor to reduce that sentence. The defendant killed four people on April 25th of 2019 after he said his brakes failed when he was going downhill on the interstate just outside of Denver. Prosecutors argued that defendant Rogel Aguilera Medeiros acted recklessly and made a series of poor decisions before the wreck. Well, the move to reduce his sentence comes days after a judge scheduled a hearing for next month to reconsider the sentence. The district attorney on the case planned to ask the court uh, that the sentence be reduced from somewhere to 20 to 30 years. Our affiliate KMGH has more on the story. Outside the Jefferson County Courthouse, dozens of demonstrators stood in the cold wearing T-shirts, holding signs, demanding a different sentence for Ojel Aguilera Medeiros. Even 20 years is ridiculous. Support, support this situation because it's an affair. 110 years in jail for a guy just in an accident. He Protesting while just steps away inside a courtroom, Judge Bruce Jones, the prosecution and defense discussed next steps to change that sentence. Cameras weren't allowed to record that hearing, but in it, questions about the legal precedent this will set. That's because Judge Jones couldn't find any instances in the past where the prosecution requested an expedited resentencing instead of the judge or the defense. There were also questions about whether a resentencing would prohibit Aguilera Maderos from requesting an appeal. In a press conference afterward... You know, this is an exceptional case and it requires an exceptional process. District Attorney Alexis King didn't take questions but spoke about why she requested that hearing. In finding its verdict... The jury recognized the extreme nature of the defendant's conduct, which warrants a prison sentence. She's working with the families of victims and has come up with a new sentencing recommendation. We will likely be recommending a sentence of between 20 to 30 years. The families of victims. Nobody wants him to spend the rest of his life in jail. Say their voices are being drowned out from all the attention this sentence is getting. Dwayne Bailey's brother Bill was one of the four who was killed. This last two weeks, I will tell you, rivaled initial crash as far as emotional side. He's not the victim. the victim. This crash killed four people and four good people. He agrees with the 20 to 30 year sentence and says victims spoke with the governor recently about his involvement. His message to Governor Polis. You need to stay out of this until at least after that. And if he doesn't, I guarantee you he's bowing to political pressure. All right, let me bring in now our attorney guest still with me in East Lansing, Michigan, attorney Jamie White and in Washington, D.C., attorney Gene Rossi. All right, what do we think about the governor's commutation of that sentence? Jamie, I'll start with you, please. I think it was absolutely appropriate. Um, you know, again, we talked in the last segment about there are consequences for reckless and negligent behavior, but 110 years was just outrageous. And I understand that it was under meet the uh, juxtapose of mandatory sentencing. Um, but, you know, I think we see courts all over the country, in particular the federal courts, have addressed this issue and have decided that judges dis deserve discretion and having, um, you know, a mandatory sentence for a crime just based on paper um, is not appropriate. And I, th I think the governor did the right thing here. Gene, let me ask you the same question. Right move by the governor, why or why not, please? The right move by the governor. This is very personal to me. I used to drive a lumber truck. My, my late father had a lumber company in uh, Connecticut, and I remember Route 66 in Connecticut had a lot of hills. I remember going down those hills, and my brakes were not always the most effective. This, to me, is like giving a death penalty for shoplifting. And I feel for the four victims. But Jamie brought up a good point. This is a mistake. It's not intentional. It's negligence, criminal. And we just finished talking about Kimberly Potter, who took the life 
of an individual, and she likely could get seven and a half years or less. And I think the governor did the right thing. I know the victims and the family are just are hurting. Um, but I got to ask this. Why is the prosecutor agreeing to 110 years or asking for 110 years? That smacks of political pressure in the prosecutor's office. Another good point. Another good point there, Gene. Um, to be, uh, you know, uh, continued, I don't know if anyone's going to ask that question of the DA there, um, but at least we know this has been done by the governor, and so it's going to be 10 years for that defendant. In about five years, he'll be eligible to be considered for parole.